Hello friends. So today we will see a program. So write a Java program using string tokenizer class which reads a line of integers and then displays each integer and the sum of all integers. So we will see the algorithm first and then we will see how to write the program in Java. So the name of the algorithm is sum of integers read as a string. So input is string of integers. Then output is to display the integers and sum of integers. For this the first thing you need to do is you need to import the util package for two reasons. The first one is you need the scanner class and the second one is string tokenizer class. Both the two classes are there in the util package. So you need to import the util package. Next is we are create we need to create scanner object to read in the string of integers and this you have to do using the console. So we need the scanner object. So then read the string of integers. These integers should be read by, uh, by, by spaces. Okay. So here the delimiter is the space. By default it is space. So you need to give spaces between the integers. And create a string tokenizer object and pass a string that will be tokenized into string tokenizer constructor. So we need to create the string tokenizer object and then we have to pass the string that we want to tokenize into the constructor, string tokenizer constructor. Then declare and initialize variable sum is equal to 0. This sum will be holding the total number of integers. So for that we will be using this variable. It need to be initialized with a 0 because it's a sum. And declare and initialize variable i to 1. i variable will just make a count of the integers. Integer 1, integer 2, integer 3 and it will just make a count of the number of integers that we are giving. Then we will start turning a loop. This loop will have has more tokens method in it. So this has more tokens will be written in true or false. If there are more tokens left inside the string then it will return true. Else it will return false for us. So this loop will turn till has more tokens returns a false. If it returns false it means that there are no tokens left inside the string. So inside the loop this is step 7, 1, 7, 2, 7, 3, 7, 4. All these are the steps inside the for loop. Next is inside the loop we are actually taking the token. Token is in the string format my friends. Don't forget that. So we have to convert the string into the integer. Okay. So each and every token is nothing but a string. So the string you have to convert it into integer. To do that we will be using the parse int method. And this parse int method is there inside the lang package. And it is there in the integer class. And it is a static method. So you are you have to use it with the class name. So parse int method will convert the string into integer. And that integer is stored in the variable n. Okay. So that's why we have taken n over there. And then print number on the display. So after you are taking the number. Uh, yeah, no, converting the string into integer. And you are taking it n. You are displaying it on the screen by using system.out.println. And then you are summing it up. So you say sum is equal to sum plus n. Now n is integer. So you can happily perform uh, operations on it. Okay. So this loop again we are going to step 7. And repeat the loop till has more tokens returns a false. So finally after coming out of the loop we will be printing sum on the screen. Because sum will be holding the sum of all the integers that are read into this particular program as a string. So with this algorithm. We will try to see the program now. Okay. So this is the program friends. So I have imported the package. So this is the name of the class string token. And inside this I have declared a scanner object. Then I am reading the string of integers. Then I am uh, we, by using sc.nextline method. I am reading the integers uh, string. Integers of uh, a string. And then we are taking the string tokenizer object we are creating and we are passing line as argument because this line has to be tokenized and then the variables that are required so sum is equal to 0 and i is equal to 1 then I am saying st dot has more tokens um, so this st dot uh, has more tokens will be returning token one by one for us and since there are tokens it will return true for us and then uh, uh, it will keep executing this loop will keep executing till there are no tokens. And then n is equal to integer dot parseint and then we are saying st dot next token. So this 
uh, pass into method as I told you it's a method inside the integer class and it's a static method that's the reason why we are saying integer dot a pass int and then I'm printing the numbers on the screen using system dot out dot print and then this is the sum wherein we are summing up all the integers one by one and finally after this while loop we are actually printing the sum okay friends so I will execute this program and show it to you well friends I am compiling my program Java C string token dot java okay i'm executing the program okay friends so it's asking enter numbers in a line separated by space so i'm entering the numbers so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, you can give whatever numbers you want. Okay, so I gave them. So it is uh, printing since I gave uh, 7 numbers. It is showing me that I all the numbers that I have given. 1, 2. Here you can see that space is the delimiter. And it's separated and it has summed it, summed it up. Okay, fine friends. So you can clearly see that we have... Uh, printed the integers as well as we have uh, printed the sum of the integers but the input is taken as a string okay so we'll take a quiz so here is a small quiz of friends i want all of you to pause your videos and take this quiz in the concepts that we have learned so far